Hey guys, this is Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and I am going to do a <laughs> screaming monster truck. Hmm. Not right now, my love. A quick video to show you guys um, how you could potentially, maybe, maybe, make the Innovation Pet Coop Kit, the beauty that you see in front of you, um, maybe make it work for more than three birds. So a little backstory, um, this video is especially for Tiffany, who requested um, maybe some suggestions on what to do for this coop. Now first, a disclaimer, Tractor Supply and Innovation Pet, like I don't get compensated in any way, shape or form for anything. It would be great, hey, if you're Tractor Supply or if you're Innovation Pet, like send me some money and I will say whatever you want on YouTube. But for right now, this is um, completely uncompensated, unbiased, just an honest review. Um, and some suggestions. So I've done um, a video of hacks for this coop. I've done like an initial review for this coop. I've done a one year later. Now that our chickens are not really spring chickens anymore, they're now a year old. Um, but here's one of the main problems that I have with this coop. Overall, I'm very happy with it, but I've got um, one kind of little problem. Here's the deal. This coop advertises that it's good for between six to eight birds, I believe. I know they say at least six. Now, obviously, if, and if we're talking terminology here, the coop is where they go at night, right? It's the indoor part, and basically, the only thing they're supposed to do in there is lay eggs and sleep, and that's it. And of course, poop, but you know. Um, they don't spend any significant amount of time awake during the day inside the coop. They are in the yard, potentially. Now, you can tell that this is not a lot of space, even for three birds. I mean, honestly, within, they're complaining within one or two days my birds had completely destroyed all of the the foliage if you will all of the grass and everything that was there so of course we're not even talking like them living in here full time but for a sleeping area a normal chicken now we're not talking bantams and bantams are basically just like it, a bantam chicken just means it's a, it's a smaller chicken um, and there you go um, so when you're looking at roosts, and I've, t Tiffany, I do have a couple of ideas for you. I'm, I'm getting there. Um, hey, Miss Nosy. You need at least eight inches across on a roosting bar for each bird. And so Innovation Pet says that this space is sufficient for six to eight birds to sleep. And no, it's not. Technically, there are only two roost bars, and they're each... I mean, there's, there's my hand. I mean, they're easily, they're probably not even two feet across. So I call BS. Here comes another nosy bird. This is Dottie. Dottie never shuts up. What is it, girl? What? So, I mean, you can see. <laughs> Thank you for putting your butt in the shop, Dottie. I mean, now you can see that there's no way you could have six birds next to each other here all night, every night. Now, my birds have roosted like by grabbing onto this but you can see this if I get in this angle I mean you can see how narrow this is and also it's not rounded at all and my birds are lazy and they like to try to sleep in the nesting boxes but I mean if you are giving them the proper like look see how look, look at her butt there's no way two other birds can fit there um, so here are my suggestions you could you hear this like this is all day all they do is complain rats so here are my couple of ideas. I, I don't have a problem with the roosts that are in here, the bars, there's not a problem. Now they are also very easy for you to take out for easy cleaning, there you go. Um, so I'm not sure if you would want to do a bar that goes across here and maybe another one that goes across here. I mean, your chickens would have to step over it like during the day, but that's not that big of a deal. The problem is, or I guess the things to consider is one of the great things about this coop is you've got this door over here that you open up and I'll go over there for another perspective here in a second. That's the door where you collect eggs basically, right? And you can clean out the nesting boxes as needed. Then you've got, that's a window up there with a sliding door. Whoop, excuse my finger. And then of course this door that opens here. So you can't put any roost bar or anything that would go up to this wall because obviously you open the door and it would fall. You could potentially mount something on that far wall like a roost that comes out. Um, the other thing, Tiffany, that I was going to, I thought about trying to tell you about this in the comments and I was like, I can't explain this at all, um, is what you could do is get even, I mean, don't even go buy anything, like find sticks in your yard or something, but put something up at an angle like this 
and then have multiple layers on it, almost like, you know, a terraced type, like a garden thing or whatever. But you could start it, again, you couldn't start it all the way here because this door opens, so it'd have to be mounted somewhere that's where it's not gonna move. But you could either have it, I mean, I wouldn't have it here going all the way across, but maybe starting at this roost bar, and I mean, maybe even use this original bar as this door blows and hits me in the face. Um, use this original bar, but build something up. This is where, the vertical wall ends and then this is where the roof starts so you could have it connect at that point all the way to here and you know have have terracing that way the only thing you'd have to be careful of though is can your bird still make it across to get over here because if you've got something you know that's going at an angle it's going to be cutting this space so you kind of just have to i mean <laughs> like i'm doing gracefully just hello look at this Look at this. She's on my arm. What do you want, you brat? Jeez. Like, do you think you're a falcon or what? Look, look at this. Can you guys see this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> She's like, um, now I don't really know what to do. I wasn't planning on doing that. <laughs> what do you want? This is Lollipop. She's our friendly bird, as you can see. What? You brat? So, I mean, I think there are definitely ways that you could do it. Um, that you could make it work for six birds um when i was if you haven't seen my roost dilemma videos there were three of those because my chickens are extra stupid and i couldn't get them to sleep on the roosts at all they all wanted to sleep i have three birds and they wanted to sleep one right here one right here and one right here which is not good so i grabbed some random branches i've got a like a brush pile over there and i was just stacking them up in different angles trying to see if i could do anything that would suit them now I've trained them, and as you can see by the, the poop, they do, um, they do sleep on the roost like they're supposed to. So you've got a couple of different options. The, the thing you're gonna have to remember though is that this indoor space serves two purposes. The first purpose is for them to come in in the morning. Um, usually chickens have to go and they have to go eat something. Mine like to run around outside for a bit. Honestly, I always read that they needed some sunshine. They needed to be out in the sun first. And then it's kind of like having your morning coffee and then you get that urge to go to the bathroom. I think for them, then after they've had some sun, they've gone around and foraged for a bit. Then they're like, oh, I need to lay right now. So then they're going to have to come in during the day and be able to get from here over into one of the nesting boxes to lay. Um, and then the other purpose of this space, of course, is for them to sleep at night. So unless you were gonna just completely block off a nesting box and be like, okay, they're never gonna access this, whatever. Um, my suggestion would be maybe trying to put, you know, again, use these existing bars, because they're here and there's a little, you know, there's, there's cutouts, there's like divots for them to be. Use them and build something off of that. So either, um, you know, you can have two birds here two birds there that's four so then maybe a crossbar here and a crossbar here and that might work I mean they'd be facing different directions and stuff but I mean that's that would be the least pain option I think um you know and it's up to you if you'd want to bolt something or if you want to just lay oh my gosh oh, fluff butt but I mean here you go here's here's some perspective you see how big she is right there I mean there's one bird that could sit next to her I guess and then that would be it because she's like her mama and she's got a booty so sorry um the other option that would be a little bit more fanciful <laughs> would be to have something that's at an angle um again if i get right here that's at an angle either from this roost bar use this as the bottom piece that way it hooks in and build it upwards and go you know to this point and then have rungs on it like basically like a ladder like a lean-to type situation or you could mount it all the way over here but just depending on how many rows you're going to have or whatever remember you're you're blocking the, the traffic from here to here and i apologize that i can't give you a better perspective but i'm going to try real quick to show you it from another angle so here's our nesting box door Whoop. and now all my chickens are going to be like what when i open this they freak out see like i'm showing them a different perspective and it blows their little minds they're like, what? I don't understand. How did she do that? <laughs> it's like voodoo. Lollipop's gonna rearrange the dummy eggs. So here's, here's your other angle, right? As I stick my phone into this unsanitary space. But you've got the roof here. Oh, don't you get out of focus. You've got the roof over there going across. 
to over here. So you could build a lean-to type thing, but again, you know, if you've got something, if I stick my hand in the shot again, if you've got something going this way, how are they going to get from the window to this third nesting box? So, you know, those are the two options that come immediately to mind. Um, you can't really put any more, I guess you could try to put more parallel bars, like exactly how my finger is, but then there's not really enough room. You can't really do another one right there. And then of course, if you do one right here, there's nothing, ah, there's nothing to mount it to because that's just an open doorway and a ramp. Um, so easiest option, get something to go across and then you can have two single beds, if you will or doing a lean-to type situation. You just wanna make sure that it's stable because your chickens will go in um, before dark and kind of chill for a little bit. And then usually they'll stay in one place all night, but you don't want it to be something where one chicken moves in the night or something spooks them and then, you know, the whole entire thing falls. Um, that would be, that would be bad. So, say hi, Tiny. Hi, baby. Look at these, look at these brats. They're revolting because this isn't a snack video. So anyway, um, 11 minutes later, hopefully that's given you a couple of easy solutions. And if nothing else, if you don't have this coop yet, if you don't have this coop yet, then this is going to give you like a visual. Um, I believe, I believe in my coop review, um, I have the actual written review with photos and stuff on realsimplemama.com. Just do a search for coop review. I believe I put those dimensions inside and if not then I'll try to go amend that this weekend so that you kind of have an idea of how much material you would need Look. so those are the ideas that have come to mind with me if you have any suggestions if you've built additional roost to make this really compatible for four or five six birds um, or if just watching this if you have some suggestions please put it in the comments to help Tiffany and any other any other viewers um, I would definitely have more hens if I could but we're only allowed three so we're, we're good right now with, with three fat birds. But hopefully that's been helpful to you. But we're going to run around and play out here for a little while. Again, I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. And if you have questions, concerns, comments, suggestions, please put it in here on YouTube. You can follow me on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter. Here's all of my, you know, follow me shameless stuff. But this video was on request of somebody who's been commenting on my other content. So I can definitely run out here and make videos for you guys and I appreciate all of your feedback. So you guys have a great weekend and we will be back again soon.